You join us aboard Class 144 Pacer Unit number 011 as we leave Hull's Paragon Station on the 1010 service over the old Northeastern Railway route from Hull to Scarborough. The city of Kingston upon Hull was served exclusively by the Northeastern, but local opposition to a monopoly resulted in the independent Hull and Barnsley, which was ultimately absorbed by the larger undertaking. Much track rationalization has taken place. Originally, four tracks ran in from the east, but our route diverges here, past the little used carriage sidings. So, Gilbert Dyke and Brown there is all manual as well. Isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah, they don't have one for all together. Yeah. Now, the next signal we're coming to now, we're under Hesel Road signal box. Right. This one here. Used by only one summer Saturday's train, the Anleby Curve is currently under threat. Closure will prevent any further steam workings along this route as there are no other turning facilities at Hull. That, that line there, it takes you up onto the Ull and Barnsley Railway, the old Ull and Barnsley, yeah. Yes, we have a hand. Cottingham is the first stop. Most trains are through to Scarborough. Is it by all the trains, or just the...? Oh, yeah, nearly all trains stop here. They run a good service to Babley. Yeah? Mm. I saw a couple on the board. Classic DMUs are still seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spent a bit of money on this station right. going it up, yeah. You saw Mal out there briefly. Mm. Yeah, two, yeah. Two summers ago when she was doing a, a round. There were people everywhere. <laughs> Couldn't move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lockington. Lockington has a sad history. This open crossing was the scene of a fatal road and rail crash which made open crossings a dirty word nationally. Barriers now guard it and the next crossing. Yeah, yeah, double <laughs> Driffield is another former junction of a line to Market Wayton and of one to Malton. Here the line turns northeastwards. Gotta keep the Sigmund warm, you know. Marabout drivers and second men and guards and that. Well, uh, Signals held us. There was work ahead on the line. The crossing was being cleared of gates. It hasn't got gates. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, last got nothing. Well, it, uh, it's had last week, hasn't it, Brian? It's had last week, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen the engine. Here's where its original is. To the left, you won't be able to see it. There's a stately home, Bert and Agnes Hall. I assumed it was here. Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, there's nothing matter with the truck. The hybrid. Yeah. The one in four in the middle. Well, the, the top half of it, the young way, he used to run motorcycle racing on it until they wanted it for industry. Like you'd go to the right here if you want to be in number six, seven, and eight. Right, so it's, it's the lower numbers that have gone then. Yeah, one and two, and there used to be a number a three. It was a bay platform. That used to be the depot there, Bridlington Depot. Oh, was it? Yeah, where the B&Q is now. Where that flat wall is, is presumably where the other platforms were. Yeah, yeah, where that dead end is, yeah. The first Principal the station first on the line is Bridlington. This once boasted an engine shed as well as extensive yards and was the destination for many holiday expresses. Today, Bridlington marks the beginning of the rationalised line to the north, 
singled beyond here. What are they growing to green out these days then? Well, he, he, a guard from Brindleton used to look after him. He used to grow all the flowers, you know, decorated the station. I don't think he grows them. these days. Mm -hmm. It's a bit um, down a hill these days. Yeah. <laughs> We'll tell you to call him Doug, this Sigmund. We'll tell him he'd been on telly. <laughs> Key Crafting, eh? Yeah, Key. significant name, is it? Yeah. Do you want the key line here at all? Or? No, that's just the name of the crossing. Am I supposed to grab this? Go, yeah. yeah just gonna... before you got here, uh, just after you leave, one would be that is. But it's all gone now, it's all took away, is that? Back to camp, is that Yeah, I'll show you where it is. As we've seen earlier, further rationalisation is taking place, with manned crossing gates being removed. The line is an early candidate for radio signalling. Yeah. And we're back on single line then to Seema, Seema Junction. That's a Sigmund there with his sports gear on. Thank <laughs> you, Craig. Here's a spread you're on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Double line ends again at Filey, once the junction for a triangular route to Butlin's holiday camp. The historic train shed is currently under repair. It amused me, the passengers are stood underneath it. We are supposed to stop clear of it. So that flag, what would that be? There's supposed to be a flagman here. Is that right? We'll tell them to... That's another thing, Ray. Ray I've never seen a flagman here. There's supposed to be one here, uh -huh. according to the programme. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're coming the other way. It's just between boxes, it's not yeah, a physical yeah. thing. It's no. just, uh, yeah. you know. The old sleepers have took out. More evidence of civil engineering is met at Gristhorpe. Uh, Tony Lake for controlling, they don't have nothing to do with the line, that signal box. It's like what they call a game. Oh. Yeah, that's what he just pressed then, the AWS one. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm with you. See, it's for the 35 mile an hour. Well, that should be facing us going back. See, it's a cancellation. At Seema Junction, we join the main line from York with its splendid array of semaphores. Seema station is a simple design, and its level crossing has recently been replaced by an overbridge. Approaching Scarborough, we see the tan table, installed at great expense by the town council, and now virtually unused by B.R. Steam. To the left is the former route to the north, which ran into a tunnel behind the signal box. The separate excursion platform is now trackless. The famous gantry remains, at least for now. Oh, oh it's been out a bit now. You used to run trains to Whitby up that way. You used to, used to have to come out the station and reverse to get in there. Yeah, come out, come out, and then go up there. Run round the train, run, then go through there. Where are we headed? Uh, we're going right. number five, I think we should be going. Yeah, get the route the platform number on that signal we've yeah, just passed. Yeah, I've really done. 15 mile an hour through all these shunts through here. Scarborough has seen severe rationalisation recently, with the south part of the station now gone. However, it has an unprecedented service with regular sprinters through York and Leeds to Manchester and the West Coast. Even got his passport. 